Today, I'm going to do a decorate with me for my tear tray. This is a wooden tear tray. There are three tiers. I have another white one that is two tiers, and I also have a metal three tier tray. The metal tray is deep, and so I thought this would be a good solution because there's no sides on it, and you can see everything down to the bottom. So I got it from Goodwill. I had to do a few repairs to it and a little touch up of the paint, but I think it looks fine now. And you can see here, it kind of has a planked appearance. And this is what it has looked like through most of the summer. And it looks like this. I did have a couple of more pieces on there that were yellow that I went ahead and took off uh, about four weeks ago. So this is what we have so far. I made this in a project, did a video on that. And then here are some pieces that I'm considering using on the tray. There's this fall piece. I'm gonna try to link the videos of the crafts that I've made. I've got some random pumpkins that I've had over the years. Here's a pumpkin spice shadow box. Happy harvest. And here's one with a a stacked pumpkin. Over here is a little sign that came from Dollar Tree. And then I have a DW Home Candle. I got this from Marshalls and it smells delicious. Have a little whiff. Don't we wish we had Smell-O-Vision? Uh, it smells really good and I love the color of it. That color is, that color is pretty I think for fall. In the basket are some other things I thought maybe we could use. So here's an option. We made this together. Then, let's see what else we have in here. I have a gold pumpkin. A bronze, a bronze looking pumpkin. This I love and I cannot part with it because I just, I love trees and you can see here, you can see the trees. They're on both sides. I usually find some way to fit this into my decor. This, I believe, was a candle holder originally, but that's certainly what I used it for. I had another candle in there. But it's orange, so it's fitting. This is a project I made last year, I think. It's starting to peel a little bit. That's before I knew to seal everything with Mod Podge. This is a little pumpkin that I made over. And it looks kind of bronze. These are some gorgeous signs from Dollar Tree this year. There's one. Here's the other one. I like the little beading on the top. This is the project that we did together. This came from Goodwill and it's just a um, now you put it around a candle or whatever and it's slit in the side so it fits easily around the tiered tray and here this little cup came from Hobby Lobby uh, last year I have a little white looks like a cupcake bottom I got this I think that was from Hobby Lobby I believe I got this at Goodwill though I get a lot of stuff from Goodwill these little boxes came from Goodwill as well, and they're just little wooden boxes. They're good for risers and putting little things in, so you can get some varied heights, which is important on tear trays. So, I may be running up and down the stairs to go to the basement and grab extra goodies, but otherwise, I think it's time to deconstruct this one, and then we'll get started on the fall look. Okay, since that is all done, I have a little bit of acorn spice from last year left over, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my tray. Now 
now we have a clean slate. So let's see where we want to go from here. On the bottom, this is a little too tall. This is too tall, so we'll put that aside. There's this one. That would actually fit pretty well there. So for now, I'll put that there. Here is the pumpkin spice. A little bit too tall for all of the shelves. So that one's not gonna be there. The sign fits nicely. And I think I'll put that there because I wanna use my set of three together. I don't wanna separate them. Okay, so let's see what we wanna go on there next. I know I want my little pumpkin, pumpkin sign there. Maybe put this off to the side a little. Got my little footed tray. You can see this came from Target. Could put that there. You can actually see a leaf there on the pumpkin. And I have my cups. Can put this in here somewhere. I think he actually looks better on the bottom. Let's see. Or maybe, maybe we could have just a separate little vignette to make it look as though they're having coffee. So we can do something like putting the picture there be putting the picture and the two cups there. Maybe. Maybe have it like that. There's also this one. I think I like that one better. Got a little coffee cup there. So maybe something like this, and we can use this to maybe put something on or in. Maybe for this tray, we can do put my wooden spoons in there. And I have a honey dipper. Can put that in there. We can put the crate and a pumpkin sitting on the crate. If I move it, then I can put that there. Mm, looks a little too big. Let's try it a little differently. Maybe put it to the side. Have a pumpkin there. Another pumpkin. We could always use this sign as a riser. So if we wanted to, we could do something like that. Maybe even use this as the riser here. I feel like I want this to be higher though. I'm going to separate my colors. So far, how does that look? I don't think I'm going to use the candle on there. I think this is just going to be separate. The copper pumpkin is not matching with the rest of the colors that I'm using here. So I'm going to put him to the side. Maybe something like this could go here. So I'm, I'm liking this, I kind of like this together. And I might change this, since I've used this one before, and put it down here. Maybe try something like that. We'll scoot it around a little bit. See how this looks. So this is looking a little better. It's 
This one doesn't match, neither does this one. But I have a bunch of brown over here. I'll put that to the side. If we wanted to, I'm just going to show you an example. See, this could go here. And then you could put your items in there. Like that. So that gives you an option. This is kind of how it's looking. Got to do something with this. And then going to add some greenery to it. Okay, while I was getting my greenery, my leaves, and my pick pieces, I remembered that I had this really pretty white candle down there. It's white pumpkin, and I, it says sweet gallery candles. But it's really pretty, and it came from um, from Goodwill. I got it at Goodwill. It's been used just a little. Somebody made a boo-boo. Shouldn't have put that on there like that. Ugh, it smells so good. It smells like a pumpkin pie. It's really yummy. But I won't burn it while it's unbalanced up here. But I think it will be pretty. I think it'll look nice on here. Maybe even here, and the cups can go here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we think. We'll start down here and put on some greenery. All I'm going to do is just add here and there little pieces of leaves and greenery. Just going to tuck it in willy nilly in the places where we know we can see. You can see through there. So we've got a little piece there. I'm going to use the smaller leaves up top just because the shelves are shorter. So we want to do that. So we have plenty of room here. Put some here and put these little cups back. Could actually add this to the top where the cups are if we would like. And I think I like the look of that. I will give you a better look when we're done. So far, so good here. It's important to consider what angles you are going to be seeing your items so that you have everything placed where it needs to be placed. I can see back there. I want to add a little there. I have different type two different types of leaves. So I had oak and now I've got a little bit of these maple leaves and the colors, they just match so well. These muted colors match so well. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add a couple of those in there. Can even do something like that. Have it kind of standing up in there. Now I'm going to use these picks I'll add these picks in also here and there just to give it a little more green. We don't truly get fall here until, uh, well, fall type weather until eh, around December here in the Deep South. So we don't get all the pretty change of leaves early in the season like some states do. So we will fake it till we make it. How about that? Put one here. Whoops! That looks pretty, and it's trying to crawl out of there. You can use tacks, um, like the little tacky strips, or what you know, what have you, to keep your piece, pieces in place if you need to. But you certainly don't have to. Now you can always go back and add some pieces to your cups. I've got a pitcher here. I'm gonna add, just add one there. And then add one on the tray with this cup. And that is it. So here's your overview of our fall tier tray. <laughs>